Welcome, friends. Come right on in. I'm Peter Kelly, and as the president of Vassar Brothers Medical Center, I have the privilege of being your host for this long-awaited event, the dedication of our new patient pavilion, an extraordinary 752,000 square foot addition to our campus that will allow us to dramatically enhance how healthcare is delivered and experienced here in the Hudson Valley. So please sit back and get comfortable as we proudly introduce the new patient pavilion at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. With its distinctive shape that follows the aesthetic of the Hudson River, the new patient pavilion adds an eight level addition to the existing Vassar Brothers Medical Center in Poughkeepsie. This addition features amenities that provide the caliber of healthcare and the environment expected by sophisticated modern day patients and their families. From the time you enter at any entrance, you will find a well-appointed, advanced medical facility. Starting at the main lobby and the concierge desk, and further in, no detail has been left to chance. A few features of the ground floor that are key to serving our visitors are four dedicated visitor elevators that run from the underground parking lot to the four patient floors, a designated meditation room, gift shop, and access to an outdoor public terrace, and a two-level open atrium that overlooks the Hudson River. Beyond the main lobby, there is a footbridge over Livingston Street that connects to the Emergency and Trauma Center. Located along the main concourse is the O'Shea Conference Center, which is designed as a combination medical conference center, lecture hall, public event space, and staff auditorium. It can accommodate up to 300 people and includes a reception area for pre- and post-event gatherings. Farther along the concourse is the 220-seat Panici Family Cafe, which includes stations for hot food and sandwiches, a soup and salad bar, a pizza oven, a coffee and espresso bar. It also has access to the public terrace, which offers outdoor dining, exterior seating, and paths to stroll during warm weather. Every design element keeps patient care and healing in mind. Tonight's celebration was meant to be a very lively in-person party where you would have met many of the people whose efforts have helped bring this patient pavilion to life. Well, COVID-19 has changed a lot of things, but it has not stopped us from being creative or from bringing truth to the phrase, where there's a will, there's a way. Our will is to celebrate this new pavilion, has led the way to this virtual ceremony. Just as in the live celebration we had envisioned, you're going to meet some of the many people who have made this project possible. With that, I'll let them and others guide you through this transformative new facility. My family's been in Dutchess County since the 50s, and Vassar Brothers Medical Center has been a part of delivering healthcare to us. Five of my six grandchildren were born here. Both of my children were born here. It saved my life on three different occasions. Vassar has been a major contributor to the healthcare in this area. And because of the degree and the importance of this project, I just felt that it was part of my giving back to the community. A good hospital attracts good doctors. A great hospital attracts great doctors. When you attract great doctors, you attract patients that want great care. And that's what we've been doing, and this will make it even better. I'm immensely grateful, deeply appreciative, and thankful to all of the people from all walks of life in this community and outside of this community that contributed their resources, time, effort, and wealth. What you see on the outside is probably one of the most dramatic buildings along the Hudson River, including those in Manhattan. But what you also will experience is the delivery of state-of-the-art healthcare in a state-of-the-art facility. The Anna Maria and Stephen Kellen Emergency Department, on the first floor of the southern end of the pavilion, is nearly 58,000 square feet. It has its own entrance, which opens up into the spacious Conklin family lobby. Inside, there are 66 exam and treatment rooms, including three trauma rooms and a pediatric-friendly area. 
The six nursing stations are built to ensure caregivers have direct access to patients. They are equipped with a pneumatic tube system to swiftly transport things like lab tests and medications. An ambulance garage with high-speed rolling doors is the entrance for emergency services providers. In addition, and a first for the region, there is a helistop on the roof that allows for high-speed elevator access to the trauma center. The new pavilion, when you first look at it, it's just breathtaking. It's big, it's beautiful, it's three times the size of our current emergency department. It's more beds, it's a designated pediatric area, there's three designated trauma rooms, all of the radiology, be it x-ray or CAT scan or ultrasound, are all located in the emergency department. We have an enormous, beautiful lobby. It's, it's, it allows, especially in our current state, for all the social distancing. It allows us to take all the safety precautions necessary to ensure our patients are well cared for, safely cared for, and that they feel those things. I, I think the patient experience in the new emergency department will be far superior to anything that people have experienced perhaps in the past. The size of the department, the fact that we have 66 individual rooms and yet they are part of a cohesive, coherent department that is all working uh, in sync to make sure that patients have the best clinical experience as, as well as the best experience within that department. So our emergency department is, is, can be incredibly busy at times. We have seen, uh, we see a, approximately 73,000 patients a year, um, which can be over 200 patients in one day at times. The types of patients who arrive, whether it's pediatric or, or psychiatric or trauma or cardiac, you can never predict what type of patient is gonna come in on what day, but you have to be prepared for all of them. I think uh, the most important thing I can say about emergency medicine and the emergency services in general is that we are only as good as what we can provide for our community. And so our commitment really is to bring that sense of ownership and of um, commitment to our community. I think that this building and this, emer this new emergency department really embodies that commitment. One of the most exciting things is the helistop that we have on the roof. The helistop allows us to receive the most critical patients from our community more timely than they could by ground. When minutes and seconds count, receiving those patients immediately is of utmost importance. I've been involved with the Vassar organization for many, many years and served on various boards that are part of the organization and experienced a lot of grand openings and capital campaigns as the hospital grew over these many years. The hospital itself is such a critical part of the community. There isn't a person around here that isn't in danger of having, having to come to the hospital at some point. And I've always felt the better we can make the hospital, the better off the community is be overall. Now in this new building, life is gonna change for those who have the t uh, need to be there. As a resident of Poughkeepsie, I'm really proud that this hospital is going to be here for many years to serve the whole region in ways that we can't even imagine now. On the southern end of the pavilion on the second floor, just above the emergency and trauma center is a 72,000 square foot, 30 bed intensive care unit or ICU. The rooms are strategically designed to increase visibility and access to care for our sickest patients. A double door entryway into each room offers easy access. Placing the patient in the center of the room adds flexibility by freeing the bed from the wall. Articulated booms on each side allow for easy connection to critical medical equipment and patient monitoring. Each room has a bathroom, internal blinds for privacy, and expansive views of the city of Poughkeepsie to the east and the Hudson River to the west. Intensive care unit stays are particularly vulnerable times for patients and families. Uh, the new ICU is going to be more spacious, allowing for the family member to be in the room uh, and actually take part in the care and recovery of their loved one. It's a difficult time that uh, I think this will help uh, make a little better. One of the things that's essential to critical care is being able to afford uh, patients 
a true day-night experience. This new building is going to be able to give the patients something that they need uh, in order to prevent ICU delirium, uh, which will help them to heal faster and get back to their lives quicker. In a sense, the intensive care unit is a hospital within the hospital. Uh, it's situated uh, between the emergency room and the helipad. Uh, down the hall from the operating rooms uh, and in close proximity to our step down and cardiac floors. We can actually do just about any procedure in the actual room. Uh, for the procedures that we would have to typically move the patient for to radiology, uh, we have a state-of-the-art fully equipped procedure room in the ICU. When I see this new building, it gives me such great excitement because the building, the architecture, the beauty of the building itself matches the care that we're giving to our patients. It was put together with such great thought for our workflow, for how we have to interact with our patients, for how we have to interact with each other. It, it, it really is an amazing build. I think it's a testament to what we've been doing for a long time, which is outstanding critical care and medical care in general, general at the facility. That just gives us the canvas to do it and, and lets everybody know we're the ones, we're top notch. Our family, the Petrovitz family, has deep roots in uh, the Vassar community, uh, dating back to uh, 1884, when my grandfather was born in Poughkeepsie. Uh, that was the infancy year of uh, Vassar Hospital. My involvement did begin a long time ago. Um, in 1968, I was a member of the Junior League, and the requirement was, in your first year, you had to give 100 hours of volunteer work. And I chose to give my time to Vassar Hospital, and I'm so glad I did. Following my activity with the auxiliary, I was asked to come on the foundation board, and I really enjoyed that. It was very fulfilling. I always felt that being on the foundation board was being an ambassador for the hospital, and to me, that was my biggest job. Well, being that uh, the Petrovitz family has only used Vassar since 1884, uh, my, my father used to uh, work at the cupboard. My mother pushed the cart around to the various rooms as a volunteer. We can want this legacy to continue, and uh, we're very happy that uh, for the new hospital and what it will provide for this region for many years to come. Thank you to the leadership that had the vision and had the energy and got this ball rolling because uh, I never would have dreamed it was possible. So thank you, and I'm proud and happy to have been a part of it. On the north end of the second floor is the Surgical Center, an advanced network of 13 surgical suites equipped to serve different functions, including heart, brain, spine, knee, and hip surgeries, to name just a few of the procedures available. There are two robotic operating suites and a hybrid suite for specialty cases. Also included in the surgical center is a post-anesthesia care unit with 24 bays and a pre- and post-operative area with 38 rooms. This area is accessible from a first floor waiting room so you can greet your loved one after their procedure. The OAs at VASA are very busy. We have all different specialties such as cardiothoracic surgery, general surgery, orthopedics, ENT, plastics, neurosurgery, um, GUGYN. We're also a level two trauma center and available for any traumas that come into the hospital at any time. I believe that this building is going to be something fantastic for the community, for the staff, for the, for the workers, for the physicians, and um, it brings with it some new programs that we already have added to our already advanced programs. Uh, we're going to continue to have robotics and advanced cancer care and all the programs that we have. I think this building is an evolution of what we already have and I think it's going to get better for the community. The new ORs are spacious, modern, and is outfitted with state-of-the-art equipment. When you enter the building, you feel as though you're in a five-star hotel. I think the design of the operating room incorporates family wellness and patient wellness. And now we have a, a really welcoming area for the patient and the family to arrive together. You get dropped off, your family's with you, and then you undergo your procedure. And then the waiting room is right adjacent to the cafeteria, which people are always a fan of. 
and it actually has an outdoor area so that when you're anxious waiting for your family members, you can go take a walk and walk off some of that anxiety and look at the view. I'm very proud of the collaboration and planning that went into this new pavilion. It was a multidisciplinary approach, which is very important. The frontline staff was actually in involved in the planning as well. So this is very exciting for the entire group. You know, I, I look at the new hospital. I, I, I remember the first day I was here, about almost 10 years ago, um, and they showed me a plan of a hospital building uh, that was going to come. In, four to five years. And I gotta tell you, I would have never imagined the building that sits here today. And that's what happens when you put patients first. I hope you're enjoying our celebration so far. And I do mean our celebration. So many people have helped bring the state of the art facility to our region. You met several of them already. Let's meet some others. I am so grateful to have had the opportunity to work on this $25 million capital campaign. During the past four years, I've learned so much, and I'd like to share with you the top three lessons I've learned. Lesson number one, make sure Rob Dyson is your partner. He'll lead the charge and get things done. Lesson number two, have friends like you who stood behind us and believed in the project and the positive impact it will have on our community for generations to come. Lesson number three, have a team of community and business leaders on your committee who are smart, determined, and engaged. The overwhelming support from our friends in the community, Vassar Brothers Medical Center doctors, nurses, hospital staff, our trustees, was so impressive, and particularly, I'd like to acknowledge those doctors and so many others who came forward and gave substantial gifts in support of the hospital. I hope all of you feel as proud as I do to be a part of this community. Because of your support, this hospital will be a place where we and our families will feel safe and supported in an environment that is state of the art with excellent doctors. Thank you all again to our community for making this a better place to live. The beautiful views of the river in Poughkeepsie area are unparalleled on floors four through seven. These floors feature a total of 264 spacious, all-private rooms with bathrooms equipped with walk-in showers. The rooms offer a peaceful and serene atmosphere that intentionally includes patients' loved ones to help support healing and recovery. Each floor has a different color scheme and a beautiful floor-to-ceiling mosaic near the public elevators to help you easily identify your location. Beyond the elevators facing the Hudson River are spacious, well-appointed visitor lounges. I'm excited about this new pavilion because I have been with Vassar Brothers Medical Center and New Vance Health for over 10 years. And as such, I've seen a lot of change for the better, a lot of growth uh, within the hospital and as well as within the community as well. I'm excited about this change in particular because I feel for the first time that we are able to have a facility that reflects the awesome care that we give at Vassar. And not only have I been a physician here for 25 years, but I've also raised children here who've needed medical care at this institution. And I think that that's not going to change. The nursing staff and medical staff in this community, I really cannot say more uh, positive things about. So as a hospital of service, we've always been committed to giving um, the most efficient, most compassionate, most patient-centered care possible. And transitioning over to this beautiful new pavilion, now we're able to match up that commitment with this beautiful space that um, allows for us to be able to attend to patients and families in a way that we have not been able to do before. So we're excited about this because now this means that we're able to do the things that we feel really matter, like being able to sit down with your patients and their families, to have comfortable conversations at eye level, because all the rooms are private. I'm very proud of this building for the community. I think now, finally, we have a state-of-the-art medical center that matches the commitment to excellence and care of the doctors and nurses in our community. 
It's such a great thing. And you know, as mayor, uh, I love this community. I've lived here my whole life, and my family has a, a special connection to Vassar Brothers Hospital and now this medical center. My mother was a patient here on several occasions, got the best health care. Quite frankly, they saved her life here. I've been in and out of this hospital numerous times, both as a volunteer firefighter, a police officer, and now as mayor of this great city. This is personal to me, and it is personal to so many other individuals in this community who have been touched by this institution. Healthcare is so important to our country, to our region, to our community, and Vassar Brothers Medical Center is transforming healthcare on the Hudson, but what is so great, it is transforming healthcare right here in the city of Poughkeepsie. Thank you to everybody that had a part in creating this brand new healthcare institution here in the city of Poughkeepsie. It's exciting, it feels good, it makes you feel happy, and I get to drive by this every single day and see this beautiful building and knowing all the good work that takes place inside. I am thrilled as county executive uh, to be able to celebrate this great accomplishment. The men and women who have poured their heart and soul in building this pavilion not only are helping to advance Faster Brothers Medical Center, but really transform healthcare in the Hudson Valley. And because of it, the city of Poughkeepsie is benefiting, the county of Dutchess is benefiting, and we are making a difference not only in the life of our community, but in the lives of the people who call Dutchess County home. As we rebuild our economy, and sort of restart our activity, it's important that we support business growth and support our families and our neighborhoods. But we can't achieve success without an excellent healthcare system. And what's occurring here at Vassar Brothers is transformative. And at the end of the day, we know as a community, as a family, we need quality healthcare. And it begins right here at home. And now, allow me to introduce our final three guests of the evening. Strong, effective leaders make all the difference to a complex organization like Vassar Brothers Medical Center and the larger system is a part of, New Vance Health. We have exactly those kinds of leaders at Vassar and at New Vance Health. Let's hear from each of them now. As the chairperson of the board of directors, I have seen some incredible, both tangible and intangible things happen in our community since this project started. First of all, the, the effort to, to make this happen goes back a long way. The current board and myself as the chair are fortunate to be here when the building is being completed, but it's as a result of the hard work and efforts of many boards and many individuals before us that this happened. Um, this is a culmination of the community's show of support for having this type of building and the quality of care that we need for our community, and I can't begin to thank all of the members of our community and our board of directors and our foundation board of directors for the contributions that they have made to make this possible. I also would like to gratefully acknowledge the outsized amount of support that the Dyson Foundation has provided to this project as well as many other projects before it. We could not be in the position of having this beautiful building without their support. On behalf of the board of directors, I would like to personally thank Rob Dyson for his effort and contribution to this building and to this hospital. This has been a long project and we've waited a long time for it to be complete. It's time to celebrate this incredible success and congratulations to everyone involved in making it happen. Hospitals need scale. We need scale to attract excellent uh, doctors. We need scale to make affordable healthcare available for our citizens. When this project began several years ago, we had envisioned a huge party to commemorate the opening of this beautiful facility. We're here today doing a virtual ribbon cutting. And so I have a small prepared statement. If you will indulge me, I'd like to read to you. Vassar Brothers Medical Center has for years provided the most advanced care in the Hudson Valley in such areas as cardiac, neonatal, cancer care, and many other areas. Several years ago, the leadership of our then four hospital system decided that Poughkeepsie should be the site of a more modern hospital to facilitate the advances in care and treatment that Vassar Brothers Medical Center was offering and continuing to develop. And so, the dream of a magnificent citadel of healthcare on the Hudson began to take shape. It is now the newest and finest hospital between New York City and Albany, maybe even the Canadian border. 
a facility that allows our residents to stay close to home to receive the excellent care they deserve. This new pavilion is possible because of the combined efforts of HealthQuest and New Vance, our healthcare professionals, and the dedicated community. This project inspired financial support from visionary donors who understand the importance of modern, advanced healthcare being located here in our valley. The project was also possible because our elected officials in Poughkeepsie, Dutchess County, and beyond shared the dream of a new and improved hospital to serve the needs of the very same people they serve. I believe I speak for everyone on the New Vance Board and many, many other people who could not be here today when I say, Thank you and congratulations to everyone who made this day possible. We now have a facility that reflects the outstanding quality care that our healthcare professionals have delivered for decades here at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. Thank you to everyone who made this great day possible. I think in our first 18 months of existence, New Vance Health has demonstrated the value of taking seven hospitals, putting them together, and acting as a single integrated healthcare delivery system, really taking advantage of the best talent that we can find, attracting patients from far and wide, and delivering great care in modern, contemporary, beautiful facilities like the pavilion we're about to open at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. I think this pavilion is a special place. It speaks to confidence in the future and our ability to deliver care no matter what the circumstances are. It did take a while to build, but the reason is because we didn't want to sacrifice or compromise on the quality and safety of the environment. When we're sick, we come in and we're, we're vulnerable, and everybody is a little worried, I think, when they come into a hospital, worried about what's going to happen. Are they going to keep me safe? Are they going to cure me or take care of me? Do they really care about me? And I think this is an environment that expresses all of that with confidence that, yes, we do care about you. Yes, we are going to keep you safe. And yes, we are going to deliver the most sophisticated care that anyone can deliver right here at Vassar Brothers Medical Center. Thank you, Tim, Greg, and John. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come to cut the ribbon on this remarkable new pavilion and to join in a toast to one another, to our community, and to this medical center. While you are getting ready with your glass, let me once again thank and congratulate everyone who's played a role in the creation of this new patient pavilion, and to all our community who may someday need Vassar Brothers Medical Center. We're here for you. Cheers. Thank you, one and all. Stay safe and good night.